Hello fellow problem solvers, so they're going to be doing a problem from the 2019 IMO shortlist, problem number G1. I suggest you try this, now you should have a problem out for a minimum of 15 minutes, ideally 45 to 90 minutes, not more than 4 hours, given that if this came to you at the IMO, you wouldn't have that much time. So, I mean you would have more than that much time. So now without further ado, if you'd like to go along with us, you know, draw the diagram, put your first ideas out on paper for the next 5 minutes, and now let's begin. So first, how do we draw a diagram? Well, let's read through the problem. We have a triangle ABC, a circle through A that intersects all of these segments, such that, okay, and then tangents to some other circle. So D, this is at AB. Okay, so let's first draw maybe a circle, and it has, goes through A, goes through B and C like this, boom. So we have A, B, C, then we have points D and E, then we have points G and F. All right, so I just draw an okay circle. Now we have these tangents to D, B, F at points, what's it called? F and C, E, G, F, G. So I have this circle, whoopa, and I take its tangent, and I take the tangent through G, and these should uh, meet at a point C, prove that AT is parallel to BC. Okay, so we can go at this problem two ways. We can go at this problem, I, this is a bad diagram, mind you, so we could think about maybe making a better diagram, then figure out what T is. But we can also just start off with, let's see like what this pretty general condition gives us. It gives us that this is alpha, beta, gamma. I'll have the angle here will be equal to what? It will be equal to alpha, this one will be gamma. And similarly, this one here, angle, will be equal to beta. And this one will be equal to alpha. Right? Actually, no. I am totally mistaken. This is not alpha and beta. My bad. So actually, these angles are not known. So maybe we can make them known. Let me clear this up. And now we're back to our problem again. So we actually don't know what these angles are. So this is a bit more interesting then. Let's see, though. I know the angle here is alpha, so I know this is 180 minus alpha, I know this is 180 minus alpha, but I don't know much more than that. If I call this angle x, say z, alpha minus x minus z, maybe this gives me some more freedom to like figure out what angles are, then this here is alpha minus x. Does that make sense? The angle here is alpha minus x, so this angle is gamma plus x. Now when I take this tangent to this circle at f, it forms an angle of beta here. So it means this other angle is gamma. Now if I take the other tangent intersected at t, it forms an angle of gamma here. So now what do we have from this? I invite you actually to maybe draw a better diagram than me and try to solve this problem for the next 10 minutes. See if there's anything interesting that you notice in this diagram, because I think I just saw something interesting. So now let's continue. I hope like this is a pause for five minutes and just like figure out like if you saw anything. F, G, E, and D. And I have, so what do I have? I said I have, uh, this is beta. So given this a tangent, this here is going to be a beta. This is a horrible, perhaps, diagram. And this is here, gamma. Let's say they meet at point C. I have this is gamma. And I also have this angle right here is gamma because the whole angle is 180 minus alpha, right? And you might also notice this is what a good diagram does to you. It really does help you out, figure out like what's happening in the problem. So now what do you have? You have this is gamma. 
because, and you have this as gamma. So you have this angle is equal to this angle right here. So that means that T is on this circle. What's it called? I don't know what the name of this letter is. But it is on this circle. Right? So we have T's on this circle. Because we would also have, mind you, this angle here would be beta. And we need to prove that AT is parallel to BC or that AT is parallel to FG. Or in other words, what do we need to prove? I invite you to pause for two to three minutes and figure out what is it that we really need to prove. And the answer is really, well, there are many ways to go about this, as with most problems. But one thing we need to prove is that this angle is gamma, which means that this angle right here should also be gamma. This is the angle TAE, which is like TAC, needs to be gamma, which is TAE, which is TGE. So this is gamma. And thus we're done. It's kind of a, you know, it's a good geometry problem to practice your skills on, like if you don't know, if you're not very comfortable with geometry, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This really just solves the problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.